Uh, in light of the imminent naming of a new University of Hawaii president, uh, the formation of a Mauna Kea management board and the continued opposition to the building of new observatories on Mauna Kea. What is your position on the construction of the TMT, the 30 meter telescope on Mauna Kea? I was very much involved as the lead house negotiator to establish the Mauna Kea Stewardship and Oversight Authority because it was very clear to me that we needed to change the government management framework for Mauna Kea to ensure that Native Hawaiians have a significant voice in governance decision-making. And it was uh, a major change. And it was a significant piece of legislation that not, you know, there were a lot, there was a lot of opposition to it, but I felt it was the right thing to do. We have billions of dollars worth of infrastructure uh, for the astronomy industry on Mauna Kea. I believe that we can have astronomy that is done well, that protects the environment and honors and protects cultural resources. And so it's on the basis of the formation of the Mauna Kea Stewardship and Oversight Authority, the, the new statutory basis for that, which, set, which says that it is the policy of the state to support astronomy that is in harmony with the environment and it is uh, uh, it protects uh, cultural resources. The legislation also increased the involvement uh, of, uh, required the increase in involvement of the astronomy observatories in the community by having them support education, even into the primary and secondary school level, and also at the university level. It increased the involvement of UH Hilo. As to the 30 meter telescope, I'm very familiar with that project. Uh, they're now currently going through a federal environmental impact statement, doing a cultural uh, impact analysis, which includes consultations with the Native Hawaiian community. I think that process needs to be followed through all the way through to really understand best what this community wants. From what I hear from my, the, my constituents, is that they believe that the 30 meter telescope can be built while protecting the environment and for honoring cultural resources. Thank you, David. Uh, and now Monique. Um, that is a real tricky uh, question uh, involving the TMT because the community I speak to do not want TMT. Um, you know, Mauna Kea is considered a conservation site. Uh, I learned a very, strong word in the last few years and it's setting precedent. And so if we start allowing TMT to build on a conservation site, we're setting precedent for more and more and more building. Already we have a bunch of telescopes up there that has not been properly permitted or you know, uh, just has not really been doing right uh, for the, the people of Hawaii. So you know, speaking to my constituents, uh, they don't feel like it's something that is, uh, most of them don't want it, but in a time right now that, you know, what's going on in the world today, I, I think that's something that can, you know, is not the most pressing issue, uh, the building of TMT. I think we have other things we could be focusing on and uh, and uh, use that resources in other areas, but not, not TMT. Okay, thank you for your answer.